Good morning. It's Friday the 3rd of January 2020 and um, it's 9.42. Uh, today we're going to fix the well problem. Our property wasn't lived in for a couple of years and the drinking water well, which is uh, all the way down at the bottom there, um, is, well, it needs a clean. But we can't clean it this time of year because the water table is so high and we've just had like a massive storm and everything. So normally what they do is they pump out the well and uh, you go down there with buckets and you clean all the muck out of the bottom and uh, you pull any roots out of the out of the walls. Unfortunately, we can't do that because the water is coming in so quickly. You'd need a, a huge pump to do it. Apparently, it would cost hundreds of euros just to run that, that pump for the day. So what we're going to do is we found a guy and he is coming here at 10 o'clock. And then he's going to basically blast it with chlorine, which will kill any of the bacteria that are living in the well. Hopefully give us clean water uh, that we can use for the next, I don't know, a couple of months until uh, summer comes and the water table drops and then we can easily pump it out and give it a clean ourselves you know hello my beautiful boy cat are you watching the chickens well what do we have here we have a wood burning stove yeah so today um what is today uh today is saturday the fourth and it's about 2 p.m We've just um, bought this wood burning stove and a couple of flue pipes um, to go inside our lounge. Uh, we're going to do a very rough install job. Basically the, the fireplace as it currently is, uh, when you make a fire the smoke, um, depending on the direction of the wind, the smoke will come into the lounge and fill up the lounge and it's really annoying. So I think if I just put this wood burning stove in there with some flue pipes going all the way up to the top of the chimney, uh, hopefully that will work. To get this on here is incredibly difficult and um, you have to be exactly on target. You can't do it with this aluminium stuff on. Well you can but it's so tight and to do it up in the chimney is virtually impossible. Uh, you know what I mean? Like, look, I can't. It will look good when it's in though. Yeah. It's working nicely. It's working very nicely. So basically what we've done is we've just put the um, wood burning stove inside the fireplace and we've attached one meter of um, flue pipe going up the existing chimney and uh, that seems to have solved our smoke problem. We didn't even have to go all the way up to the top which is really great and, uh, and we got a nice amount of heat coming out of it. Apparently it's 12 12 and a half kilowatts. Um, I mean, right now we've got a little bit of sort of low quality wood. I don't even know what this is. It's a mixture of pine and eucalyptus. And it's putting out a fair amount of heat. But the problem we have is um, the chimney is not closed off. So a lot of this heat's radiating off the sides and off the top and just probably going di directly up this chimney. So, so I think we're gonna buy some sort of uh, insulated board uh, like a rock wool with metal on it and make like a little tap it off here So that all of the heat comes out of this coving and uh, back into the room. Good morning. It's Sunday the 5th of January 2020 and it's um, it's about half past eight in the morning and We're just doing a little morning walk around the farm And yeah It's quite a lovely day today bit frosty but uh, otherwise nice. So we're still waiting for our cooker to arrive uh, but in the meantime we're using a little rocket stove and you quite literally just put twigs into it and you get heat and really good heat as well you can fry loads of stuff in here and it lasts for quite a while and you just chuck more twigs in when you need more more heat. Hello chickens. So Sunday, 1.53. Sunday the 5th of January. <coughs> oh. Beer time. We've been working uh, with hand tools and just cleaning up the vines. So we've been pruning them because they haven't been pruned in ages. 
and uh, cleaning all the weeds from the base of them because um, there were lots of weeds and everything all just built up and then scraping all of the stuff into a pile in the middle and then uh, yeah I was going around with a wheelbarrow picking it all up and dumping it down there and I'm busy burning it at the moment well, we've burnt most of this um, we have some some sort of decent wood lying around here uh, so I'm not gonna just burn that now because that could come in handy hello yeah, duck duck how's it going how's it going my little pooch you good boy yeah so we're stuck with cooking some really basic stuff uh, because well because we don't have an oven uh, an oven hob cooker yet good morning it's monday the 6th of january 2020 uh quarter past 11 and uh, this morning Gina's working in the vineyard she's just pruning all of the vines and uh, just clearing out the rubble from there and yeah I decided that I was going to tackle this dam so I've already started I've just been cutting back a whole bunch of these uh, branches and trees and everything that are drinking water from the dam and then uh, I think the spring that's underneath the dam might be blocked, you know, from years and years and years of rubble and dirt and everything. So I'm going to first start with the branches and then we have to wait till the dry season um, where we can get like a, a digger or something in, try and see if we can scoop all of the muck out the bottom and unblock the spring. Okay, so we have a giant pile. The dam's starting to look a bit better. What I want to do here is cut some steps in and maybe get some uh, steel rebar put two rebars in a plank backfill two rebars plank backfill so I can make like a little staircase going down and then um, maybe cutting like a square out there so I can flatten it put some chairs down there or just a nice little place to sit but anyway it's early days the dam's like not very high on my priority list I just thought I'd give it a bit of a Bit of a clean up before before spring and all the leaves come out you know so the sun's going behind the trees here and my big pile of mess is a lot smaller uh, i've separated all the twigs and wood and this whole pile's gone and oh yeah gina's done she's done all of the vines today and yesterday so all the vines are pruned and the dam is looking a lot clearer or at least the area around the dam, not the actual water. But we now have some kind of a beach. Good morning, it's Tuesday the 7th of January 2020. It's 10.51 and um, yeah, we're on our way to Castella Branco to... What are we going for? I can't remember. Uh, we need to sort out the electricity bill. We oh, need yes. to sort out the bank. And we need to buy a bit of food. And you want to buy some fish and chicken. Ah, okay. Well, there you go. So we're just in Castello Branco. Um, in the background here, um, Gina's, Gina's just gone to this bank. Yeah, one of the really cool things about here is if you look, the tree, or sorry, the street is lined with all these trees, and uh, and they're all orange trees, which is really cool. See, you've got like all these oranges up at the top here, which is quite nice to have fruit trees inside a city, you know. And for a city. Castello Branco doesn't have particularly bad traffic. Uh, I mean, the traffic in Portugal is never big anyway, but... I mean, look at this. One car moving around. Okay, so that took a while. It's like 20 to 3 now. Um, now the bank's out the way and we've changed our electricity. Well, we've cancelled our old electricity contract. And now it's um, off to AgriLogia and we're going to buy well hopefully there's these two chickens it's a pair it's a it's a big black cock which i can't wait to get so that i can tell everyone that i've got a big black cock and um and uh then it's a big black hen and they're a pair yeah i love this place it's got everything you need they even sell like little tractors and things so yeah that was going to be my my big black cock but i thought he was only going to be 30 but he's going to be 68 euros he's too expensive so, um, yeah, we're not going to get him. OK, 
Okay, so we didn't get the chickens. Unfortunately, I won't have a big black cock on the farm, which is unfortunate. But we did get some, some goldfish, and we're going to put those in the dam um, so that they eat the mosquitoes. So while we were at Agri Lodger, uh, we bumped into Rosa, um, Rosa, and uh, she's been watching our channel, which is quite cool. So if you're out there, Rosa, hello. Hi, hello. Thank you. Yeah. So we got a bag of 10 goldfish. We've got another 10, which I'm going to leave in the tank. And we're going to put these in the dam. You coming? Well, I'm going to put the phone down before I walk down there. Okay. Right on. <laughs> right on. Okay, so I have actually acclimatized the fish to the water. We've been keeping them inside the water now for about 20 minutes, 30 minutes. Um, oh, I didn't bring scissors. Yeah, so basically, as you can imagine, this tiny little bag of fish, okay, is going in this huge dam. Yeah, I think we're going to need more than 10 goldfish, but to start with, this should be good. <laughs> stuck on the stopping. My sake was sniffing my ear roll. Oh, there's one stuck in the bag. There we go. Alright, yeah, it's almost impossible to see these guys. Look, there's... That's it, never to be seen again. Yeah, pretty much. So this is like... This is like a 10,000 litre tank. And uh, you probably can't hear a word I'm saying because Dean is standing right by a waterfall. But um, so we're going to put these fish into this tank here. And there they go, sinking into the abyss. I don't know if you can see these little fish. They're having a whale of a time. So when's our when's our cooker arriving, Gina? Friday. Friday, hopefully. Don't so, get lost. so are you like a cave woman now? Um, it's amazing how long everything takes. I mean, you can't just shove it in an oven. Yeah, but isn't it amazing how much time you have? I feel like we need to be doing lots of things though, not just cooking. But yes, it is nice that we have time to, to stoke the easy stove. Yeah. Actually, the easy stove is better than the camping stove. It's yeah. more efficient. This is free yeah. and it heats it up quicker. It's just time consuming. Hi Put your hand out. Oh, there. Masak, away. <laughs> that was, uh, the, the chicken was going into the mating position. It saw Gina as being the cockerel. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Right, you're all in then. Good night, girlies. Go and roost. Go sleep well, my child. So, Wednesday, the 8th of January 2020, 11.37 in the morning. And yeah, I've just come down to the dam um, just to see if I can find any of the goldfish that I put in yesterday. If there was any bodies floating on the top because you know this water is quite stagnant and the stagnation in itself is not a problem um, but it's the fact that the surface uh, is not getting oxygen going through it because it's got this sort of scummy layer on the top so there's going to be very low oxygen levels um, which I guess is not a problem if there's um, only a couple of fish so yeah it looks all right. I don't see any little orange floating bodies. Oh wow. Okay, so I can see some of the goldfish. Um, just in front of that. 
so Thursday the 9th of January 2020 1.23 um, I am waiting for a uh, delivery guy to come and uh, bring my computer parts because uh, yeah my computer's been busted for a while so um, oh yeah we did a little bit of painting if you notice in this room we've we've painted all these walls white makes a big difference uh, when we moved in this was like a really messy area and the walls were almost black from soot from the oven and there were spider webs everywhere there were pieces of metal hanging from the ceiling like wires and stuff so we've cleaned it up and now we have a nice little wood storage area and somewhere to do like outdoor kitchen activities um, yeah so, so we just put paint on we didn't really do anything fancy but it makes a big difference Friday the 10th of January 2020 and it's quarter to one a couple of days ago we put some we put some goldfish in this dam the dam was looking um, very stagnant and I don't know why but for some reason it's not looking so stagnant and there's the goldfish look at that can you see them wow yeah, so the goldfish are doing all right. Uh, we put 10 in there. Um, and uh, I wasn't expecting them to survive, to be honest, because the water quality looked terrible. But now it's not looking so bad. Huh. Look at that. 